What's going on guys, it's Dale here from Demsec and I did a live stream last week and you guys said that you'd be really interested in seeing some just general infrastructure stuff and then I remembered that I had the orange pie and I thought well let's make this thing into a little access point slash Wi-Fi repeater because I think you know ridiculously cheap device I think this could actually be really useful for a lot of people so the first thing you're going to need to do is go down into the link in the description and find this orangepie.org URL. Scroll down till you get to the Orange Pi Zero, and go ahead and download OpenWRT. Yes, this thing supports OpenWRT, which you know some people will be really excited about. Excited about others won't. So it's this one here you want to download. So I'm going to download this standard download, and when that's done, I'll get right back to you. So mine's just finished downloading. So what you need to do is open up this. Uh, raw file it downloads open up this image.xz file and it's this dot img that which which we need to go ahead and flash to our uh, micro SD card so I'm just going to extract that now so with that extracted as we've done many times before we need to fire up win32 disk imager And it's not showing any devices in there at the moment, and that's fine because what I'm going to do now is pop in my uh, micro uh, micro SD reader, and uh, hopefully a device will appear. So thankfully, the e device now has shown up, and I'm just going to grab that OpenWRT image which we just downloaded, and this is going to disappear, of course, and then we're going to write it to that SD card. So with that now completed and written to the SD card, all you have to do is pop it into the Orange Pi, apply power and some Ethernet. And this is where we are now. The video cut off. That's why it's like a massive time jump. It, don't don't get me started. It was a pain. So, by default, this device boots on the IP address 192.168.1.1. If your router uses that IP address, which I'm quite, pretty sure quite a lot of routers use by default, instead of plugging it into like your router or into a switch, what you're going to want to do is plug it directly into your laptop and use it like that until you've set it up. So... Username by default is root, password is orange pie. Orange pie. Just want to make sure I got that right. So, next, head into network and Wi Fi. And what we want to do is delete this one because it's an open network by default. We don't want that. And first, we're going to make it into a Wi Fi client. So, we're going to have to click scan. And then, we're going to want to look for an access point to join. So, I've already got two set up here. Uh, that one's the actual router. That's a, an extender I've got. So let's connect it to the main router, I think. So let's join this network. We want to assign it to the LAN. And then we want to enter the password. And then we're going to go submit. And then we can uh, add that to the LAN network and then save and apply. And now you can see we've gone ahead and connected, so that's all good. And now what we can do is add a new network. So we're going to add. And this is where we want to create a new network. So we want it to have the same name because we want it to extend it. We want to connect it to the LAN network. We want to set it to the same uh, wireless security type. So in our case, that's uh, WPA2 PSK. And we also want to enter the exact same password. So just as a little troubleshooting tip, because I've been able to connect to this just fine, but that's because I'd already changed some settings. So the first setting you're going to want to change is go into Network and DHCP and DNS and uncheck here where it says Authoritative. The next thing, you want to go to Interfaces and then edit on the LAN one. And you want to change uh, Disable DHCP for this interface. And once that's done, if you're having the problem where you can connect, but you're not getting an internet connection, that will resolve that. And that's it. We've just gone ahead and made a wireless range extender for $15 using an orange pie from China. If you want to make something like this yourself, go ahead in the description. There's the Banggood link. Obviously, this device was sent to me from Banggood. So if you want to do them a favor and do me a favor by going ahead and getting yours from there, I'm sure there's other places, but we'd obviously love it if you went there to get it. And yeah, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you this Wednesday for the live stream.